What did you tell doing? Huh? What? Good morning, everyone. I'm about to um, put on makeup. I'll probably live stream it because why not? Because I'm not going to film it. Um, I want to get my makeup on and film my declutter. I was actually meant to do it yesterday, but Hamish asked me to come into work and help out because we had so many orders to pack. So uh, I did that instead yesterday. And then tomorrow I've got my braces appointment. And then Friday I think I'm going to do a makeup tutorial um, like for YouTube and a declutter. So yeah, all of those videos will be coming soon. On Friday I'm uploading a... What is it? Try on haul too. So keep an eye out for that or if this vlog's up after that, make sure you go check it out. I'm reading my tweets and lots of people saying um, CBD oil for Louis seizures. I honestly don't think it's legal here. Like I don't think I can get it. Um, but yeah, it is a good idea. It's just New Zealand hasn't legalized that stuff yet. So, you know. So this is my makeup of the day. Achoo. So this one's say hello. Um, I did a live stream, like I said. There's freaking blowflies all over the carpet. Like, Louis been, like, chewing them and bring them inside. <sighs> Dogs. Got Kairos on my lips with Holy Lip Liner underneath. My highlighter is Natasha Denona. You can go to my Twitch channel and watch the live stream if you want to see every single thing. But I'm just pointing out, like, most, you know, obvious bits. Um, Natasha Denona blush and highlighter. And then my lashes at Girl Next Door. My mascara is the Rimmel one. The Wow Wings. Benefit Brows. Um, with the Anastasia brow gel. I really like how my makeup looks super nice for spring and summer. Just like the bold lips, simple eye makeup. I just like a really shiny eyeshadow look. So yeah, I just finished my PR unboxing. My room is a shit tip, as expected. A bags. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Oh, there's another one. Hi there. Hi there. No smushy, no smushy mouth. Hamish is just coming home soon so we can do the photography for the new Exo Beauty Christmas sets. Look at all of this crap. Wow. I need to do the recycling later too. But first I need to edit, do the photos, take the dogs for a walk. And then I can always do the recycling tomorrow afternoon after I get back from Wellington if I don't get a chance today. Now on Friday I want to film a makeup tutorial trying out heaps of the new stuff that I got sent. Most of it to be honest is all just like Christmas stuff. Not necessarily like new makeup launches. I think this time of year everyone focuses on just putting together Christmas kits rather than new colours and new products. But there is some new Natasha Denona palettes like the Safari and the Gold one. And I've also got like a new Too Faced gingerbread palette and the Huda Beauty new nude. New nude. I'm so tongue tied. I've like barely even finished my coffee. Like I've not even drunk much. Look, I made this coffee before and. Oh, so good though. He wants a carrot, please. Can you get it for him? Yeah. No, because I'm vlogging it. Yeah, Look how happy want, he is. How many times you've got that? Yeah, but it's quality vlog content. Hey. This is what people watch my videos for. The carrot. Out. You guys, out. Good boy, Zeus. Louis, out. Come on, this way. Out. Then just out. <laughs> They don't know what's happening. Out. 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 Good boy, stay. It's a big bit. Zeus. You don't want to look. Are these tricks for the. It's dog food. I got sent it in my PR. It looks like there's a cat one there though. Give it to Lauren. Is it cats or not? I don't know. It says duck and fish. It's got a cat on the front, but does that mean it's cat? I'm assuming that means it's cat food. He's like best day ever. We're just making up some gifts. Uh, some gifts. <laughs> <laughs> We're just making up some gift sets for exo beauty for christmas so if you guys want to check them out you can this is the first one we're doing it's going to be three of them plus another two different ones other than makeup and then uh another two revital ash ones Woo. this is like a good way to kind of like well unless you're collecting and you want to expand your collection but if you've never tried it before this is perfect because you can kind of just get a little bit of everything and we're also including the face halos 
and the Shinexo Remix palette, which is like boss. It's the best. And this is um, this is the nude one, pretty much. Looks good. Hamish chose these colors too. You did good. So I forgot to eat lunch. Don't ask me how. I just have not even thought about food. Like I'm just not hungry, and I'm still not hungry. Must be the coffee. I don't know. But we're gonna go attempt. I was gonna cook stuff today. But now I'm not. Hamish was like, I feel like something different. So we're going to attempt Cappadocia and see if that boosts us out of ketosis or not. I'll check my ketones afterwards. But we're just going to get like a chicken salad. So it should be fine. But you know, it's always kind of like, is it, is it okay? You know, when there's no like ingredients list or no macros or something. You just don't know. So I'll update you guys afterwards. I'm excited. I forgot to uh, vlog my dinner because me and Hamish were so excited to eat it. But we got um, chicken, lettuce, cabbage, and mayonnaise. Next time we're going to add halloumi. Oh, we forgot to say no rice. So we just ate around the rice. Oh god, can you even see it? I don't know. Um, but it's fine. We just didn't eat the rice, but next time we're just going to order that. Um, and I'm so full. Hamish finished mine off, so it still filled me up. It was delicious. The cabbage was my favorite and I could taste all the flavors so well compared to normal. Like I could taste like they had a bit of vinegar in it and stuff when normally I can't taste it because usually like, you know, you mix it up with all the rice and stuff. So it was actually really tasty. <laughs> Gonna play some cod. Just reading the comments on my video, my vlog. Seems to be a lot of misinformation about what, like the breast implants. People are like, oh, it's probably breast implant illness you've got. So when I talked to my plastic surgeon, I talked to a plastic surgeon he doesn't specialize in breast implants, but I just asked for advice. He said breast implant illness does seem to be a thing. I'm not saying it's not a thing. He said your symptoms and what's wrong with you could very well just be what you've been dealing with. Like it's not necessarily related. And he said that it is better to try and control what's happening to me now by, you know, um, experimenting with diet and stuff like that, then undergo a massive surgery that may not help so that's why i'm focusing on this like i'm not saying breast implant illness isn't a thing it's just that i'm not gonna rush and go i'm gonna go get them removed right this second when for the most part i feel fine all the time and especially now that i've been on ultroxin for the last few months i've felt so much better what i'm saying is i don't want to be on ultroxin for the rest of my life which is a thyroid medication like the only time i ever feel like shit is when i don't have my b12 injections which that's just hereditary there's nothing to do with my breast implant just thought i'd clear that up because so many people are saying all these different things on my videos so yeah by the way what i mean is like the surgeon said that breast implant illness is probably a thing it's because there's no proof to say it is a thing i'm not saying it is or isn't a thing i don't know um, like a lot of people think it is. He says out of his own opinion that he probably thinks it is. But yeah, once again, like, I'm not just gonna go rushing into like another massive surgery. Like, it's not to be taken lightly and I feel good at the moment. I just feel a bit lethargic from keto, but I feel like I'm getting there. Two weeks today, I'm excited. Hey. Um, especially at night. I don't know, do any of you guys just have like so much energy at night, but like none first thing when you wake up? I don't know what it is. It's like I struggle to wake up, get out of bed, but then after I've been awake for like an hour, I've got so much energy, and then at night it's just like more and more and more. So yeah, I'm not trying to discredit anyone or say anyone's like making it up or anything, but literally every time I'm like, hello, good good afternoon vlog, I'm tired, or oh, I've got a sore stomach, people were like, it's breast implant illness. Like every time. Like I'm just trying not to make any rash decisions here. Like, who knows? Maybe one day I'll get them out. Maybe I won't. I just want to see what's going to happen with this keto stuff. So many people are angry about me studying keto too, but it's literally like, like, honestly, I did months of research. Just research it before you go off at me, because I know where you're coming from, because I used to be the same. I'm eating a ton of natural, I'm probably eating way healthier now, <laughs> or to be honest. Going back over my vlogs as well, to see what else I've said about it. Also, when I said my doctor friend... So I talked about it twice in my vlogs. The other time was when I was talking about my doctor friend telling me. So she's a doctor. She's been studying for like years on it and everything. She obviously doesn't know everything and she's not a plastic surgeon. She was going off research. Not off plastic surgeons research, just like hospital documents like Palmerston North Hospital and stuff like that. And also other documents she had a hold of. And there wasn't stuff in it there. Okay. People seem to think I'm anti it or something and I'm not. I'm putting it out there for the record. Um, she was telling me what she found out. <laughs> She's not saying it's not real either. She's just telling me, like, the evidence. So, I'm sure one day, like, you know, if this is a thing, once again, I'm not saying it's not, but there will be, like, 
you know, studies and stuff in the hospital system. That's that on that subject. I just want to put it out there because literally, like, every time I say anything, people are like, it's your breasts. And it's just like, yeah, it might be, but it's not necessarily. Like, it's just, like, exhausting, like, explaining myself every time. And people, like, come at me and they're like, get them out. Like, why are you so, like, anti? Why are you saying it's not a real thing? You're such a bad example. And all these different things. It's, like, nothing like that. Like, I don't want to just go friggin' jump into a hospital and get my boobs ripped out. Like, no thank you. I, one, loved them. And two, I don't even know if that's the issue. At all. Like, honestly... Thousands and thousands of people have busted thyroids. It's like a very normal human thing that happens in a lot of human beings, you know? I'm sure like there's many of you guys watching this vlog that have the same thyroid issue as me that watch my videos that do not have breast implants. It's just something that happens. Like it's a journey at the moment. I don't feel, you know, I've done my own research into the symptoms like hair loss and major like fatigue and stuff. Like ever since getting my B12, I'm fine with that. Like all of these different things that people have like I don't know I'm just going off like what I can research because like what can I research except other people's experiences do you know what I mean I'm sure like heaps of people don't have a good experience with their implants because it's just like piercings and stuff even some people get piercings and they like reject and I'm sure it's like the same thing people have like hip replacements and they reject you know and then other people are fine like I'm assuming it's a similar situation who knows I'm sure they're not great for you like I think my main issue is just hormonal like the cortisol and my thyroid everything else seems to be under control also sorry like i don't i'm not necessarily against being on my thyroid medication because it's literally made me feel so much more normal it's more just like if i can eat a certain way um i don't want to do keto forever i'd rather like do keto and then eat clean carbs later um depending on how it all goes but all i mean is like if i can eat a certain way and it helps to reduce that then it'd be epic not have to take pills but heaps of people are on it on it long term <sighs> i don't know i'm not against it like it's it's once again it's not like a normal thing but a lot of people manage it so yeah anyone that's got the same thyroid what is it i can't remember because one's hypo and one's hyper mine's the slow one anyone that has that like what have you done to help it let me know so I just tested my pee, gross I know, but I'm well into ketosis guys, so Turkish gets the seal of approval. Just a short round tonight, no wins. <laughs> Go from 7 last night to 0 tonight, oh, so rude. So I'm going to do my skin canal and also um, probably a face mask tonight because I haven't done one in a couple days. My skin has improved a lot in the last like week of drinking 4 litres of water a day, or almost 4 litres of water a day. Um, blackheads are diminishing. I feel like these aren't as deep as they were. They're still deep, so I'm going to keep it up, obviously, because you need a lot of water anyway. Um, I drink, yeah, just over three and a half liters or so. I've still got about a third of this left to go, but I usually drink the most water at night before bed. It's when I'm the most thirsty, which is super random, I know. So I just put on my Glam Glow Pear Mask, the mud to oil one. I've like concentrated. I freaking picked up my skin again just before. I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, so this is probably going to turn into a pimple tomorrow because I couldn't get it out. And I picked it out and serves me right probably. Awesome. I'm going to let this dry. And then you just like apply oil and you massage it. And it turns into like a oily exfoliator cleanser kind of situation. And then I rinse it off. And moisturize and everything. I'm still loving this by the way. I put it next to my bed because I use it. Just randomly, like, I'll just, like, be lying in bed. I'm like, hmm, check this on. So good. Ugh, it's covered in dust. You can tell it's just sitting there. Um, so good. It's actually feeling very lightweight. I might have to get a new one. So we just watched a movie. It's now, like, midnight. Um, called Searching. It's new-ish. It's really good. You guys should watch it. It's about a dad looking for his daughter. So, yeah. Now we're going to go to sleep. We're going to wake up at, like, 8 or so and get off to Wellington. So... Bring you along with me.